Ipo fanya. Agoja agoja kidogo. Haya ipo fanya. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today I have something exciting for you. I'm meeting a gentleman who has been working with wild animals for quite a while and this man has a special has a special area that he focuses on. Um, at the back uh, there are a few buffaloes uh, but that is not our area of interest uh, because we are going to have a, an up close uh, with one of the big five in Kenya and there's very exciting things, there's something you don't know about this uh, animal. So just come with me, come with me and have a look at what we have in store for you. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So guys, here is my friend. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask him quite some questions, but first I have to know who he is. Uh, so I'm going to ask you, my friend, who are you? Uh, my name is Kenneth Onsere. I'm a rhino monitor and I've been doing this for, this is my fourth year doing this work, interacting with the rhinos. Uh, getting close to them. I love rhinos. I love interacting with them. And this is what I do. Sasa tuseme tu kwa mfano, rhino anakujua na wewe unamjua. Ah no. Yeah, mimi namjua but sijui kama ananijua. I don't know. Kwa hivyo ukifanya mjezo ukizonga karibu na rhino you can easily be kicked. That is not your friend. <laughs> that's a wild animal. Yes, that's a wild animal. Anything can happen. He can decide to do anything to you. My friend, growing up, did you ever think that one day you'll find yourself doing this? No, I never thought of something like that. Uh, I thought of becoming a pilot, a teacher. You know, do, do, do you know those professionals that children would dream of doing? So I never dreamed of anything. Mr. Fancy Professionals. Now, sans on a mali will grow. Where will you want a rhino? Where I come from, I've never seen a rhino. See Jawa on a rhino. Yeah. Uh, when you born wa mtu wa Ushago? Mimi nimezaliwa ndani ya Ushago na nika grow kwa Ushago. Mm. Na huko ndio nimeelelewa mpaka nikamaliza high school. Mm. Sasa mimi ni ule wa Kishagi. Unajua mimi nathajua kama mtu ame grow Ushago ama amekuwa mtu ya town. Mimi nataka nijue kama ni ukweli. Hebu fanya. Agoja agoja kidogo. Haya hebu fanya. <laughs> you, this man did not grow in Ushago. You have to, when you grow in Ushago, my brothers and sisters, you have to be able to whistle. You have to go and. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, so we're gonna be talking about rhinos today, and uh, I want to move with you close. Uh, we might not be able to see the rhinos themselves. Uh, that close, but uh, we want to learn a few things about rhinos. So please, can you just take us to where we're going to be learning about rhinos? Uh, let me show you where, uh, because there's a group of animals ahead of us, and I just want to show you where the rhino is. So at the middle of that group of buffalo, there are two rhinos. Umesema two rhinos. Ndiyo ulikuwa nanyambia wale wanaitua reticulated rhino? Uh, I don't know where you had that name from. Maybe, I don't know, blame your biology teacher. Yeah. So we don't have reticulated rhinos. <laughs> so here in Kenya, we have two main species of rhino. We have the black rhino and uh, the white rhino. So I, those species, they are not only in Kenya, but the entire Africa, we have two species. And then we have two, uh, three remaining species who are in the Asian countries. E. Professor, now a question. So there are, there are different species. Which one is this that we are able to see here? Uh, in the background, we are able to see a white rhino. That is a white rhino. And then the other species is the, the black rhino. Okay, now let's dwell on w what we can see. So the white rhino, what, what makes it white? Uh, not the color. You know, many people confuse. They want to see a rhino that is in that is white in color, but that that is not the case. That is just a name given to them. Mm. You know, these are South and white rhinos. They were translocated from South Africa to Kenya, and you know, um, we have problems when uh, when speaking. Um, so some people might misspell some words or do not speak them correctly. So. Mm. Uh, there is a, the whites use uh, to call them wide mouths, and I know even from your community. Yeah. Can you say wide? White. 
Yeah, that is where the confusion came from. <laughs> and so that is where the name white came from. So white does not mean that this rhino is white in color. Yeah. My friend, you know, the pronounce perfect. Ni ukali. Ukali. Ukali, you're perfect. No problem. No problem. That is G and K. Yeah. But now for this uh, species, now it was uh, a matter of D and T. Oh. So wide and then white. Okay. Yeah, but it does, uh, they are not white in color. Unajua nilikuwa nasikia story wanasema kuna mzungu alienda huko Kakamega, alikuwa anacheza instrument. Eh yeye anasema this is good, this is good. Eh na wajua nao ndio hao wameanza kusikia isukuti. Anasema eh hiyo mzungu alikuwa anaita hiyo ni isukuti. He was saying is good. Yeah. That so that's that's the same same thing. It's the same thing. It's the same thing that uh, there's a place in Kakamega we call we call Ikolomani. Mm. So the whites came and said it was it is it's somewhere that uh, they are mining gold. So he said gold mines, mm. and that is how the the people from Western call that name Ikolomani. Yani G na Yeah. Okay. This this species white rhinos. How many are they in uh, in uh, in Kenya or rather around here? Yeah, in Kenya we have about 750 white rhinos. The entire world it's more than 20,000. So the conservation status for the white rhino is near threatened. And then um, here at Lewa we have about 111 white rhinos. So and as I said earlier, these rhinos were brought into Kenya from South Africa, and the population is doing well in Kenya. Um, about their feeding, yeah. How far do they walk, and how much do they feed? Uh, maybe, maybe in a day. Maybe in a day. Uh, how far do they feed, and how far? How far do they go feeding in a day? And uh, do you think that uh, this could be one of the? I mean, the availability of forage could be one of the factors that is affecting their numbers. Uh, these are bulk feeders, mm. yeah, and uh, they move a lot. To f just to fill that stomach. Apart from the elephants, the rhinos move a lot. Uh, they go f uh, for long distances just to search for food. And uh, in a night, they can move several kilometers, even hundreds, hundreds of kilometers, just to search for food to fill their stomach. And uh, averagely, uh, a rhino, I would feed, uh, if I can quantify the the amount of food the rhino feeds is about two, two and a half percent of its body weight. So if um, the rhino weighs a thousand kilograms, you'll expect to feed on about 20 to 25 kilograms of food. Yeah. Hiyo unajua ta mimi nikiwa mtoto ni naona kama tunafanana kidogo. So when I was about six, kufikia kitu kama 15 years ya hapo, kila siku minikuwa na changa, watu wao na shiba aje. Eh? Na kula na kula nikimaliza mimi nimechoka lakini sija shiba. Eh, so mimi naona kama tulikuwa ligi moja na rhino lakini tume, I think I have evolved faster. So tumekuwa ligi mbili tofauti. Now you get us right now this. <laughs> Siku hizi nikikula tu kidogo hivi. Siku langi sana by the way. Hata asubuhi leo nilionja tu kitu kidogo. I think ilikuwa mkate moja, mandasi sita na chai vikombe mbili. Sitaki kula sana kwa sababu unajua pia ukikula sana you have a problem. The white rhino there are two subspecies. We have got the northern white rhino and the southern white rhino. The southern white rhino, there are still many in numbers, and then the northern white rhino, we are only left with two. So people may uh, uh, keep on asking me, but we, we hear in the news that white rhinos have we've only been left with two. No, they are two subspecies. Uh, the other one is uh, still in abundance, and the other one, they are, we are only left with two, and they are at a, rough, uh, at a facility in here in Kenya. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are here. And Mimi uh, is na huyu baba yangu hapa. Kwa sababu, bado tunaona rhino. Na we have no hurry. We are in Africa, there is no hurry. Nilikuja na kauchi kangu, nilikuja na kachai, kakapo kana ningoja. So, we continue with our questions. And I had a question for this guy. Uh, how is the reproductive life of, uh, of say, the, the white rhino? Yeah, I'll begin with the gestation period. Uh, the gestation period is uh, 15 to 16 months and after that rhinos give birth to a single calf each and every year and they stay with the calf for uh, between two years and three years and then when the mother gives back birth to the next calf the older calf is chased away. A mating uh, goes on throughout um, the year, they have no breeding season so uh, it goes on throughout the year 
is there you know in some in some of these wild animals you there, there is a, for example impala or whatever it is you'll find there's some dominant male or something like that is there anything like that amongst rhinos yes there is um rhinos that are, they are territorial and then for the males <coughs> they have for blacks they have clearly defined territories and they mark their territories through various ways they use uh, they do uh, spray they spray urine to mark their territory they also do, uh, use the dung to spray their territory or sc scratching on trees on rocks just to mark the territory if there is another rhino that wants to intrude he will actually sense that there is another this is someone's territory and I don't need to enter if I feel like I'll be beaten but if the rhino feels that he's strong enough to fight he will enter and then the winner takes the territory Sasa Kaboy Kaboy Karaino Kanafikanga umri gani ndio kaone sasa mimi nataka girlfriend Ah uh, maturity in term for the males is 7 years uh, but they will begin to establish their own territories at the age of 9 to 13 years and that is the age that they will feel like now I'm a man I need to establish a territory I need to look for females Professor Mimi unajua kitu kitu umesema unajua mimi huona nikitembea huko nyumbani naona kaumbwa kanakuja kanainua mkuiva fanya najiuliza kaka anafanya nini kumbe hiyo ndio kumark territory yeah that is how they mark their territory okay our rhinos when you hapa so they 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 were born here they got their girlfriend here waka date hapa wakafanya ka proposal kao hapa ndani wakaoana hapa ndani na mpaka wamezalia hapa ndani yeah most of them were mezaliwa hapa ndani so, waka tafuta territory hapa waka tafuta their females hapa and that is how they are able to mate and they are able to give birth to babies but initially we had a small population that was brought here and most of those rhinos that were initially translocated have died. So wale wenye tuko nao saa hii uh, ni wale wamezaliwa hapa na wanaendelea kuzaana. Eh huko ni kuzuri. Yaani unazaliwa unaonanga tu hako ndio kaka girlfriend kangu. Unaona hako waje toka grow. Eh waje toka kanaanza kumea hips ukiona tu. <laughs> eh, okay. Now uh, what can people unajua kuna watu wanantazama naona hapo akina Mondi pale naona wino naona huyo ni joroge joroge soka kidogo jioni huko nyuma yako eh huyo naona huyo ni karaja na unajua sisi tulikuwa tuko high school hmm? tulikuwa tunaenda trip tulikuwa tunasomeshwa na mwalimu wetu wa geography akasema we shall go for a trip to Lake Nakuru tukachanga pesa tukachanga pesa tukachanga pesa ikafika siku ile ya kwenda trip hatukuwa na bus sasa tunaenda kwa train station ati tupande eh tupande gari la moshi wale tu, wengine tunatoka nyumbani tutaraukia train station <coughs> ikifika masaa mbili masaa tatu tunaona our, our office messenger na bicycle yake hiyo atakuja <coughs> eh, alikuwa anaitwa anga alifuakanye anasema mwalimu amesema murudi shule kwa sababu wale walitaka wale walitaka kwenda trip sio wote walichanga pesa na ile hata bear mean mama amku hit tukarudi shule it we were, we were supposed to go and see the rhino for the first time Naona kufika shule tunapata mwalimu wetu Mr. Joroka na Zeba eh ile kitu nilikuwa nawaambia tulikuwa tujaje pesa ya kwenda trip lakini sasa unaona wanafunzi wengine hawakutoa pesa that's how it ended eh mimi nimeona rhino juice sasa watu wanajiulizanga ni kitu gani kina Joroke pale ah kina kamao au wino omondi wanajiuliza ni kitu gani tunaweza tukafanya ndio tusaidie ku ensure that the population of rhino does not decline let me just um, based on what you've talked about I, you know conserving rhinos is very, is very expensive because most of the areas are fenced there are people employed to look after the rhinos and they need resources they need equipment field equipment and so many other things so when you are told to contribute uh, money to go to a park or somewhere else to see these wild animals that money partly is used um, maybe for conservation to support the conservation work so that is one way you can do by visiting these parks and by paying the entrance fees that fees helps in conserving these rhinos secondly you can people can donate as i've said it's an uh, it's a conservation of rhinos or wild animals is expensive so if you donate that money is used for conservation uh, the other one is awareness you can uh, create clubs in your schools to talk about conservation 
or you can use social media. Nowadays, social media is very power, as a powerful tool to pass information. So you can use that just to educate people about conservation and the need to <coughs> protect these animals. The other thing we can do is based on the environment to avoid habitat destruction, uh, pollution, because these things directly affect uh, the wildlife. Nimekusikiza vizuri sana. Na mimi niko na hobi moja kwa hawa watu wa real estate development. Tafadhali. Mkiona lad iko kwa migration corridor ya wanyama. Lad iko kitengela. Tafadhali ajeni kwenda huko. Kata hii ni mzinunue. Don't buy. Because that's a migration corridor. Wajaribu kujiuliza umejenga nyumba alafu ukaacha mlango ya kutoka. Kesho unapata imepigwa. Eh, Imeweldiwa together the gate. Pup. Utatoka unaenda wapi? Utatokea wapi? That's what we are doing to the wild animals. Anyway, my last question. Hii na mimi sikotaki kuuliza how does your work contribute to the mitigation of climate change? Uh, by conserving rhinos or, or wildlife in general, uh, large areas of the ecosystem or the habitat are being conserved because these animals require a large area to roam and if you can most of the protected areas have been fenced so which means there is no habitat destruction. Uh, there is no encroachment, and so this is how they contribute to uh, the environment. And uh, if you look in most conservation areas, pollution is not there, throwing of litter around, that is how it is contributed. And then if you look at the dung that uh, these animals uh, uh, give us, it helps in uh, the growth of vegetation, grass, and that is how it contributes to the environment. Yani hii 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 dung sa zingine huwa ina break dormancy ya seeds sa zingine ni rotuba See, isn't it so 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 it essentially helps the system to grow it helps trees to grow it helps vege, it helps vegetation to grow and that vegetation is the unajua ni science complicated lakini ni rahisi sana kuelewa eh watu ambao hawaelewa i'm telling you this the trees the plants, the vegetation that you see around, they use CO2, carbon, carbon four oxide, and then they give out oxygen. Now, because we animals give out a lot of carbon four oxide, <coughs> we need these plants to take in that carbon four oxide uh, uh, and use it to make their own food in a process called photosynthesis. So they, they act like the storage. The problem comes when we have very few plants and a lot of production of carbon for oxide through industries watu wengine mnajua hata wengine mnatoka nyumbani mnaendesha gari bila jua mimi sitakuja na gari huku i have come walking don't blame me haya kuna watu wengine wanatumia ma perfumes siko na cfcs hiyo hiyo wote inaenda wapi kwa ozone layer ina interfere when those when the ozone layer is interfered with zile miale za jua zile hatari mbaya kama zinatanga kansa zinakuja mpaka zina hit the ground na hizo miale ndo same same ones that will even kill the remaining patches of vegetation kwa hivyo plant a tree hug a tree grow a tree sawa huyu amekuwa ni mweledi wangu wa mambo ya rhino na naona kama rhino wametuacha na sisi pia tutawaacha i'll see you soon so what you gonna do is subscribe right there you can see that one right subscribe there alafu utakuwa unapata information from Silas Mwenyewe. My name is Silas. Uh, I'm here in the wild and uh, you know I'm a tourist and I'm also talking about a lot of animals here. Next time you never know. I'm giving you a surprise. Eh? Na kuja kukupa surprise moja kali sana na ujui ni mnyama gani nitakuwa na ama nitakuwa na kuleta binadamu. Binadamu ni mnyama. So I'll see you soon.